In this animation video, I will describe to you our patent protected method of epitaxial semiconductor nanowire growth on graphene. You will see how gallium-arsenide nanowires grow on graphene inside the ultra high vacuum MB machine. Here, inside the MB chamber, we first open the flange to the heated gallium source so that an atomic flux of gallium atoms is directed and then adsorbed on the substrate which in our case is an atomic thin sheet of graphene. Here we see how the gallium atoms adsorb on the graphene surface. It turns out that the gallium atoms tend to stick to each other and form small gallium droplets on the graphene surface. At the bottom of the gallium droplet, next to the graphene surface, the gallium atoms try to match the carbon hexagons by arranging themselves into a very unique hexagonal pattern. At this time we now also open the flange to the arsenic source so that both gallium and arsenic atoms are directed simultaneously towards the graphene surface. Now gallium and arsenic atoms hit and enter the gallium droplet. Down at the bottom, inside the gallium droplet, the gallium and arsenic atoms chemically bind together and forms a gallium arsenide crystal, layer by layer. In this way, vertical gallium arsenide nanowires with a hexagonal cross-section grows up longer and longer under the gallium droplet. It only takes a few minutes of growth before they reach the desired length of one micrometer. Traditionally, nanowires or thin films are grown on a very thick and expensive semiconductor substrate of about half a millimeter or 500 micrometer thick. Even though the nanowire, which will be the active part of the final device, is only about one micrometer thin. Now, because of our invention of epitaxial nanowire growth on graphene, the substrate only needs to be an atom thin. This means that not only huge cost savings can be made, but the graphene substrate is also flexible conductive as well as transparent to light. The epitaxial growth configuration of the semiconductor graphene hybrid could thus become the basis for new types of device systems and change the semiconductor industry by introducing graphene as a preferred substrate for many applications, like efficient and flexible solar cells and light emitting diodes. This technology will now be developed by our startup company Crayon Nano.